All right, everything's synced up. Let's give it a clap. So we're in a multi-camera angle situation. Just so you guys can kind of see everything that's going on. I think it's self-explanatory. I have a guitar that desperately needs to be unboxed. I don't know which way I'm I should probably be looking this way. We'll figure it out. This box is a very interesting shape. It's actually kind of outlines the shape of the guitar, which is kind of cool. I guess. But uh, this is a really small company that hit me up. They're called Revel Guitars. And they're a startup company, which I believe is based in Indianapolis, Indiana. They just hit me up after seeing some of my electric guitar vlogs and wanted to help me out. So Cameron reached out to me. He basically noted some things that would help me kind of along with my electric guitar journey and kind of helped me pick something out that he thought would be a good fit for me. But also I found a guitar in a color that I've been wanting for a very long time. I'm just gonna go ahead and, and open this. I just wanna get right to it. I know you guys just wanna see the guitar. Some of you may recognize this box from past vlogs, Instagram stuff. I've had this in possession for quite some time now. I just, I haven't had time to open it. Also, my hair is just falling out of my braid and we just don't have time to spend eons on my hair. So I'm just clipping those pieces back so they stay out of my face. Hopefully that works. <laughs> okay, so this should hopefully open now. This is not opening evenly. I think they're still tight, but you know, we're just gonna make it open. There we go. Hey, look, another box. Okay, we're just gonna tip this out. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is so cool. This is so cool. I can already see. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Let's just tear this sucker open. I can't wait. Okay, this is literally a summer guitar. Like, I mean, I could play it any time of year, but, oh! And this is a style of guitar I've definitely wanted for some time now. I can't get it out of the box fast enough. Oh my gosh, the neck. The neck already, the neck feels amazing. Oh my gosh. Look at this. It's like a surf green, hold on. I've been eyeing surf green colored guitars for some time now. And it's hollow body, which is really cool. I've been wanting to get a hollow body guitar. I think there's some plastic I need to take off of this. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. This, this whole thing, my bob right here. Yeah, let's take that off. This is amazing. I'm so, so excited. I need to take off this bracelet. Definitely gotta tune it up, but it feels comfortable. Okay, I'm just gonna get my tuner and then we're gonna plug this thing in and see how it sounds, see how it plays. I have rings that kind of match this guitar. These are my favorite stones and this is just, this is a beautiful guitar. And yeah, we're gonna see how it sounds. It looks cool in my room. It matches my aesthetic. I gotta get a good pick. I'll just use this one. is that I don't have an electric guitar. Well, I mean, I didn't have one that has all the tuning knobs on the top end of the neck. They're all six are here. So that's kind of new for me. That sounds good. Okay, let's plug this thing in. Oh shoot. I swear I'm responsible with my cables. I swear I am. I just put this one thing down a few minutes ago and it already tangled itself around the cable. Okay, girl, chill. I'm just, I'm very excited, if you could not tell. What are we on here? Well, we're gonna find out. All right, we're on lead. Woo, and it's loud. Holy shit, talky mushrooms. Okay, that's volume. There's a lot of, yes, amplification going on here. <clears throat> Excuse me while I adjust my settings. I think it is very apparent that I have practiced so much electric guitar this summer. Let's turn on the gain and the, oh shoot, the volume's like way freaking up, okay. I don't know 
if it's just me. It kind of has that vintagey like surfer vibe in its tone. Maybe I'm just crazy. Maybe I don't know what I'm talking about because obviously I don't play electric guitar as much as I do acoustic, but I just, I just hear that slightness in the tone. It just says like California surfer summer kind of vibe. Maybe it's just cause of like how the guitar looks, but I just, I feel like I hear that in the tone. You guys cannot see this guitar as much in this shot. So I'm gonna like try to do the leg cross thing, I guess. That way you guys can see it a little bit better. Say hello to my knee. I'm probably just gonna do a lot of strumming this video because I just finished up doing the summer strumming series with all my GDs over on Instagram. So I really haven't been practicing too much lead. I actually did take one of my guitars on the boat with me recently and I was practicing a little bit of lead, trying to get back into it because I just didn't put too much time into lead guitar this summer. I think I need to have like a season where I really try to practice more lead because I, I would love to play more lead guitar, but like naturally I'm just, I'm more of a strummer, I'm a rhythm player. It's kind of my thing because I like to sing and I like to play. <laughs> pillow so y'all can see me playing because I just feel like you can't see me playing. YouTube problems. There we go, look at that. So much easier than like having to adjust my whole setup because we don't have time for that. There's no cameraman or woman so that 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 person's me, I wear that hat. <laughs> about it you know I'm not gonna beat myself up about it because obviously I didn't put the time in the practice the work and you know what that's okay because in the meantime I was still playing guitar I just wasn't practicing lead I just didn't make lead a priority this summer for myself I've actually been playing the hell out of my 12 string this summer that's something I've been doing I have just been obsessed with my 12 string and it takes so much, even though I'm like, you know, strumming and, you know, building chords and things like that. I'm actually, I've been finger picking too, but like, I've gotten so much stronger with it. Cause when I first played it in that video, I kind of like sucked at it. Cause it just took a lot more strength and power to be able to play. So I've been still challenging myself this summer, but obviously just not with lead guitar, but just with other facets of guitar. But I'm trying to get into the habit of practicing leads and, and riffs and things like that on my acoustic because it's actually a lot more difficult to play those on acoustic because the action is higher and um, usually the necks are wider and all of that kind of stuff too. So I've been trying to, to be better at that but whenever I'm on acoustic I just want to strum and I want to sing. So let's go over some details because I think that is important to do. So this is the Revel RPT 199 series and it is a semi-hollow, I was right, it's a semi-hollow electric guitar with an F hole. So the, the, this, this thing, I guess, is in the shape of an F, it is an F hole. And it is in sonic blue, so it's not like a surf green. Price point, it is $184.99. Let's get some, let's get some specs on like, 
just the craftsmanship of it. So the body here is made out of base wood. The neck is bolt on maple with an adjustable truss rod. We have a 22 fret maple with a dot inlays. The hardware is all chrome. The bridge is fixed. The pick guard is obviously white. We've got a two single coil pickup, Rugway pickup selector, one, two, three one volume and one tone knob. And I think that's pretty much it. There is a one year limited warranty on here, which is really, really cool. Like I said, they're a very small brand. And when I talked to Cameron, they're just kind of doing this for fun. So, I mean, they said if it takes off and you know, it becomes a great opportunity for them to grow, then they're for it. But they both just wanted to just make guitars. When I pulled this thing immediately out of the box, when I felt the neck, it's so smooth. I love how this neck feels because it's just easy to slide and play and the size is perfect. This guitar is just, it's very comfortable. I sometimes have problems with certain electric guitars, the way that they sit on my leg and I feel like this one kind of sits like an acoustic guitar for me, which not many electric guitars do that. So I think I think this is going to be one that I pick up quite often and play because it, it literally feels like an acoustic guitar and that's what Cameron was actually telling me when he wrote me an email. He wanted to find me kind of like a hybrid electric guitar. One that kind of felt and played like an acoustic but obviously is an electric guitar. So I think he did a great job helping me in that department because it really does feel like an acoustic guitar in a way. Um, it just feels very natural for me. And I think this might be a guitar that actually encourages me to more so sit down and play on electric more and really go for lead playing. And I'm still gonna play the same similar style that I play on acoustic on electric, but I really do wanna expand and really, really, really try to grow my lead skills because I think it would just be so fun to be able to do. I just, I watch so many other guitarists on YouTube like Ross Campbell, shout out to Ross Campbell. I just, I love watching him play. And he's just like a freaking master at guitar. It's just crazy. If I could just be like a smidgen, if I could like literally be like an eighth of what he can do on guitar, like that would be amazing. I just, I love watching his like little mini videos that he does on Instagram and he's just like playing Life is a Highway and then he's like playing all these other songs that I love. He's, he's a huge country music fan too, which is amazing to see because he plays a lot of country guitar, a lot of like country licks and stuff like that. And I would love to be able to do stuff like that too. I love a lot of classic rock, but I also love a lot of like country guitar. So I looked at him for inspiration and I think I just need to start setting aside some time now to really get serious about it and, and practice because I've done a great job at practicing on my 12 string this summer. I'm really proud of myself for that. And I think it's hopefully maybe some of that strength that I got from the 12 string will help me on electric. I don't know how, but I'm just, I'm trying to justify it, justify it, justify the time that I put into my 12 string this summer because I had a lot of fun with the 12 string, still am, but I love how this thing feels. This is amazing. Thank you, Cameron. Thank you, Rebel Guitars. Thank you for being so incredibly patient with me, by the way. I, I don't think I've ever been more excited about an electric guitar than right now. I mean, I love all the other ones that I have here, but I this one, this one's my favorite right now. Yeah, so this is my new electric guitar. It's amazing. I already love it. Definitely learning as I go and I appreciate when you guys have like super helpful comments under the videos where you're like, oh, this little knob or this thing on your guitar does this because there have been so many helpful comments along the way and I appreciate those. Like the ones that are just like super just sweet and like really kind. I really appreciate when you guys Share any tips, knowledge, information that you have because like I said, your girl's still learning and I know many of you out there are on the same path and some of us, we're just, we're learning together and it's a beautiful thing. All right, we can put this thing on my rack. I'm super excited about this. It is hot in here. I'm gonna crack open a window because I typically don't have my windows open ever when I am filming a video just because obvious reasons but now we're just gonna we're gonna let that freeze in so I have this rack over here this is my second guitar rack we have the first one right there with the acoustics I can actually fit a couple more no I can fit one more acoustic in there if I move the one over 
my journey guitar fits in there, which is really cool. But now we can finally add this guitar to that rack. I am super excited about that because this guitar was in the box in my closet for some time and now it has a new home. So I think it should be able to fit right here in this first slot and it does. Oh, look at that. That's perfect. That looks amazing because I have other pops of kind of like an ocean blue, kind of like beachy blue stuff in my room. And I just, I had a feeling it was going to look really good. Also, this is the mess that I'm going to clean up on my floor now. This is the remnants of a guitar unboxing. So that is going to be it for today's video. I appreciate you guys watching. I'm now going to clean up this mess and then I think I'm going to go to the coffee shop and get myself an iced dopio espresso that sounds so good right now and get some work done i got some emails and stuff i gotta do i hope you have an amazing rest of your day night wherever you are in the world i'm gonna go get my iced dopio espresso and yeah okay bye